morning everyone so I thought it might be fun to do a little um, day in the life uh, follow me around today um, today is actually a pretty busy day for us we have um, preschool um, for my oldest and then um, my oldest Ella and then Fern has kinder music and then um, I also have dance class tonight I actually take tonight which is great. It's been a while since I've been able to take um, all the classes on a Thursday, so I'm very excited. But that just leads for a very, very busy day. Um, so this morning right now, we're getting, um, my husband's getting the toddler ready for preschool, getting her dressed. And I'm going to make breakfast. And then um, I'm also going to try to put some dinner on um, in the crock pot here. And I can show you guys that. Um, here in a minute but uh i hope everyone's doing well this morning and i will check in again in a little bit all right so i am um getting ready to uh put everything i need um for my crock pot dinner tonight i'm actually making a white bean chili um i had a couple cans of white beans that i haven't used yet that i really needed to use so I thought that I would use them and um, I actually found a recipe online that was super simple, had everything that I already, or required everything that I already had on hand except it called for um, tomato paste, but um, I don't have that so I'm just going to leave it out. I think it'll be fine, but um, I can show you, um, has white beans, I'm actually adding carrots, I didn't call for that, but I thought I might need something like that, some onion, minced garlic and some diced tomatoes and then on my stove over here I have my veggie broth that I made um, to put in my very old and poor decrepit um, crock pot but it does the job so getting dinner on the table and then I'm getting ready to um, run Ella to preschool and then I'll be back to get Fern um, fortunately she is still sleeping and my husband works from home so I don't have to get her up and lug her out it is extremely cold day here. We actually have a wind chill advisory. Um, so it's getting down um, like I think at like 10 or 14 is the wind chill. So it's really, really chilly today. So fortunately, I won't have to bring her out more than I have to. But unfortunately, poor little Ella, I have to take her outside. And you can see my cats are going crazy right now. So um, that's what I'm getting ready to do. So see you in the future. So here's what my chili looks like all together. Um, before I put the lid on, and actually I'll go ahead and put the lid on now. I know carrots aren't typically, um, and chili, but I thought it might be good. I know the girls like carrots, um, so something else to look forward to eating, because I'm not sure how my oldest Ella likes just beans sometimes. She can be, she'll eat things, but sometimes she can be a little picky, so that's what that looks like. So breakfast of champions today, having banana a green tea, and um, wheat toast with a hard-boiled egg mushed up on it. I'm going to eat this real quick, and then we have got to get out the door. Don't we, Ella? Um, I'm going to go to my video. I'm going to go to my socks and back. Great. Okay, we'll uh, get going. Oh, this is dropping um, Ella off at preschool. It's no joke cold. Um, my, according to my car, I'm in my car right now, it says that it is 17 degrees and I of course I forgot my gloves and not wearing a hat or a hood. It's cold. It's really cold. Um, so I dropped Ella off and then I stopped and actually filled up my car because um, it was getting below half a tank and in the winter time when it starts to get this cold, I don't like it to go um, below half a tank just just in case when there's an emergency or you know if anything heaven forbid would happen but um so I always try to keep it above above half a tank in the winter time just to be on the safe side so I'm getting ready to run in real quick and get Fern um, my baby beast up and fed 
and dressed and then we're going to head off to um, Kinder Music here in a few. Um, for those that don't know what Kinder Music is, it's a little music program for little ones. I think they actually do go up to school age kids, but um, it starts from I think six, six months. There's a little class, it's just music type class. They get to play instruments, um, drums, jingle bells, different things like that. They sing little songs and um, I did it with Ella actually. I started when she was about six months and she seemed to really like it and we did it until she was uh, two, almost two I think is when we did it and then I put her in gymnastics and that was that. She was ready for something to move a little more. And then Fern, I started here when Ella started preschool because it's on the same day it works out really well. And she absolutely loves it too. She likes she likes beats. Like she starts to like move and groove and dance a little bit, which is pretty cool. So she seems she seems to really, really like it. So that's kind of music. If you have one in your area, like I highly recommend it. Like sometimes the songs are a little funny or you might feel silly doing certain things, but you know, who cares? Like the kids really, really love it. So that's what I'm getting ready to do for now. So Baby Beast is finally up and at him and I have her up and I'm feeding her breakfast now. And I actually had to, um, we were doing just a tray with her uh, high chair, but it's getting awfully tight or it's either too tight or too loose. So now we moved her to the table and she seems to like that. This is the first time that she's eating off a plate, which is kind of exciting. But today for breakfast she is having, um, this is Cookie Monster Waffle. They're the organic, I think they're Earthlands organic brand, which are egg free, which is, um, doesn't have any dairy in it either. She has a little bit of cheese. Obvious, um, which I'm not too concerned about dairy. She seems okay with that. It's the egg that I'm worried about because her older sister has an egg allergy, so I'm just kind of still avoiding that. And then she has some blueberries today, which makes her, I think, for a pretty, pretty good breakfast. So she's going to eat this, and then we are going to head off to Kinder Music. Hey, so I just pulled into preschool. We're here a little early. Um, we just got done with the kinder music, um, had a really good last class. It's actually the last one before um, Christmas Christmas break, so or the holiday break. Um, so we did that, had a really good class. Now we're here waiting a couple minutes before we go get Ella, and then we'll head back home and go get some lunch. <laughs> So, just got home from um, picking up uh, Ella from preschool, and I made lunch now, so I'll show you uh, what they're having, and then I'm going to make my lunch and take a little breather um, before Ella goes on to, um, for nap. Fern will go down here shortly. I usually put her down for a nap around 1, and she'll usually sleep until around 4 or 4.30 or so. She usually takes a good long nap, but that's the only nap she takes, and actually, it's the only nap she's ever um, taken. She's always done one nap. I know usually they say babies um, will take two naps during the day and then as they get closer to a year then they'll take one nap and Ella did that but Fern never <laughs> never did it which is fine. It worked like she was rested and happy. She got plenty of sleep. She um it just worked out whenever we would um uh, have to go somewhere. I wouldn't have to worry about her nap time in the morning So we'd be able to just go and do her thing and then get back for naps So it did work out, but it's just it's funny how different the two children can um Can be so for lunch today um, the girls are having um, quesadillas and strawberries and As you can see ferns I chopped up into little tiny pieces and she's going to town on that um, So that's what the girls are having for lunch today I just put um, both girls down for a nap. Uh, we were doing okay, we were having a fairly good day, and then lunchtime just went just down, <laughs> down, down, down. Um, Ella and both Fern have been really flimmy, having like runny noses and stuff and colds, and it's just that time of year. Last week, um, it was fairly mild. We actually had one really warm day where we were out at the park. It was. I think it was almost 60 degrees and then like I said this morning it's uh, 17 degrees outside so it's a huge range and like whenever that happens I feel like that's when the colds come on and now I was doing okay um, 
seemed to be feeling fine. And then she got home from preschool and she said that she was really, really tired. And she was like real coffee and real phlegmy. And then she got sick because of like the drainage. She has a really bad um, gag reflex. So all that drainage just made her sick. And so then I was dealing with cleaning up that, and um, then Fern got fussy in her chair. I was trying to clean that up, and so finally I was able to put them both down. And now I am just now um, sitting down to eat my lunch. It's almost it's almost two. I usually put Fern down around one, and then Ellie usually will stay up until two or two thirty, but not not today. So my lunch, I guess I could show you. Sorry, show you real quick is. Um, I'm just having um, these like spring rolls kind of thing. I got the um, recipe from Lauren Conrad's site, but it has like a spicy sauce that I made and spring rolls. And I put um, baked tofu that I made the other day and some carrots and cucumbers. And the sauce with it is really, really good. It's like a sweet, uh, sweet and spicy sauce. And it was actually really, really easy to make. And I had everything on hand, which was great. And um was from Lauren Conrad's site, like I said, and she can do no wrong in my eyes. So, um, having that and some grapes, and then I'm just gonna, um, probably watch some YouTube videos and then take a little break before I have to, um, get ready for dance and then get the girls up and get them fed and all that, all that good stuff. So, break time, thank goodness. Okay, so I'm in the car. I'm getting ready to head to dance class. I'm actually getting to take four, uh, three dance classes tonight. I take a jazz class and I take a ballet class and then a contemporary. It's about four hours of dancing and I absolutely love it when I get the chance to do it. I got my hair in my bun and I am ready to go. Um, I feel bad about leaving though because Ella just woke up from her nap just a little bit ago and she's running a low, low fever. It's about 100 degrees right now, which isn't anything major but she's just not feeling well and I feel bad but my husband has her and um Fern is actually uh still um still napping which I know she's not feeling the best either it's just like I said earlier it's just that time of year um when the weather keeps switching and changing and then it just hasn't settled into cold yet so we just get colds and sniffles and usually a fever or two so but I feel bad about leaving, but I am glad to go get dance or to go dance. So I'm going to go dance and um, I will see you guys in a so bit. So I just got back from um, dance class, uh, my little four hour marathon, and it was a really, really good class. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was the first time because it seems like the last few weeks I have been able to go to all the classes or any of the classes just due to certain circumstances. So this was the first time that I got to go in a while and it was really nice just to move and get a little exercise. And um, so I just heated up my uh, chili from that I made earlier today and I took a little bite already and it tasted really good. Um, Crockpot chili is pretty awesome and very, very easy to make, which is always a bonus. And when I got home, um, my husband told me that Ella's doing okay. She's still kind of sick. I think she just has a cold more than anything. But hopefully she'll feel a little better in the morning. Um, so uh, that was my day today. I had I had pretty much I had a lot of fun actually sharing it today. It was fun filming. Um, so uh, I hope everyone is doing well. And until I see you next time, take care. Bye.